One of the criticisms that has been levelled on Apple about Final Cut 10 is that when editing into the timeline, the in and out points are not retained in the clip as they are in Final Cut 7. So what I'd like to do is to just show a procedure here where you could retain the in and out points, though it does involve a little bit of extra work on your point. We'll select a clip in the event library and I'll set some in and out points. I've dragged in this case, though of course I could set the in point and the out point and that would create that sub clip. So this is the clip that I'm going to edit into the timeline. So I could simply drag that into the timeline as we know. But before we do that, what I'd like to do is to be able to retain those in and out points for future reference. By using the keyword function, I'll create a new keyword. I've used command K to select the keyword. And what I might call this one is in and out points. And that particular selection now has moved over to the event library. We can see that it's there by the blue line that's in the actual in and out points itself. We'll go to another clip now and I'll set the in point and the out point. So to retain these in and out points all I need to do is simply drag that or drop it in the in and out points keyword collection and there are those two clips with the in and out points retained.